Hey guys, welcome once again to the Guy Blog Podcast. As always, your host Orlando here. And we're going to be talking, finally, McGregor versus Mayweather. I'm sure I'll do a few episodes about this until the fight happens and then post-fight. I did want to wait a little bit before I put this episode out because I wanted a couple of things to come out. People always try to make it um, seem like, oh, this fight is happening and they want to put an episode out right away before getting all the facts or, or letting any information, letting it brew a little bit. So I figured, what's the point of me putting out an episode when everybody else is doing a YouTube, an episode, uh, everything, you know, a blog post, everything, MMA, MMA fighting, Yahoo Sports, everybody's covering it right off the bat. And all they have to say about it is, oh, it looks like the fight is happening. I wanted to talk a little bit more about, you know, more than the fight is happening because we knew that was coming, but actually talk about, does this fight make any sense? No, it only makes sense from a money standpoint, and that's fine. This was bound to happen. There was, it was bound to happen at some time that a top level MMA fighter would fight versus a top level boxer in MMA. We've already had the opposite. It was about time that it was going to happen in reverse. And to have something this big and this high profile, it's okay. It's only a real win-win for MMA if McGregor wins. If not, it's a win for boxing. But what can you do? You go, they, They're going to go where the money is. So that's fine. Now, I can talk to you about Mayweather, 49-0, and all the years of experience, barely touched, in the ring and one of the greatest defensive boxers of all time I can put it out there and say that he's the greatest defensive boxer of all time not the greatest boxer of all time but the greatest defensive boxer of all time and if Las Vegas is gonna allow him to fight somebody that's O and O to go for that 50 and O record I mean Mayweather's gonna take it and that's his view So that's all I got to say about that. He's doing something that's logical for his career. He'll make probably over 150 to 200 million dollars. He'll get his 50 and 0. He'll be technically, if we go by the record books, the greatest fighter, greatest boxer that ever lived. If he gets to 50 and 0, no other boxer has that record. It will be all, you know, he'll be able to say what he's always said. He's the greatest, greatest boxer. Still, to me, greatest defensive boxer, not a great finisher, but fine. He's a wizard in the ring. He's undeniable, and he is one of the greatest of all time. Now, I want to go to what is more of my strong suit, which is MMA, and talk about McGregor. McGregor is a genius in how he sets up his fights. If you see... How, especially ever since coming to the UFC, the way McGregor sets up his fights is very particular. It's very detailed, and he is an expert at what I would say would be guerrilla warfare and guerrilla marketing. Mixes the two up to prep for his fights. What do I mean by this? If you think that McGregor is where he's at by chance, you're dead wrong, and you can go online and find 50,000 articles, why? I'm not gonna go into it. What I will go into is to talk about how he prepares for his fights. Anybody that's saying and talking about, oh, McGregor has an attitude, a championship attitude, he trains harder, he, he works harder, he does so much more than everybody else is blowing smoke up people's ass. Like, like, no, this is, that's bullshit. There's plenty of fighters who work just as hard, if not harder, than McGregor. That's not where, what makes him special. That's not what has made him a winner. That is not what has been his key to attaining the level of success that he has attained. It, you can say it's a factor. It definitely is. You have to win. You have to train and all of that. But he is at the elite level. At the elite level, everybody trains hard. 
everybody's dedicated. Nobody goes to the Olympics being a lazy, um, you know, athlete. There are no lazy athletes. But if you go to like see an Ironman match, I mean match, not match. If you see go to see, uh, you know, weightlifting and you know body. Uh, if you see Arnold Schwarzenegger, the uh, the Schwarzenegger Classic. Everybody that's there is elite. Nobody there is lazy. However, if you watch the documentary with Arnold Schwarzenegger and, you know, he trains harder than everybody in his mind and, and he's, he trains just as hard. But his edge was psychological and he would be working it at all times. He talks about how he goes to the gym and he tells somebody, oh, oh, you took a vacation. And people would, and they would ask him, what, vacation? No, I've, I've been here. Oh, I'm sorry, why, why do you think I took a vacation? Oh, I'm, you, you know, your your biceps and your chest looks a little softer than, than normal. I thought you maybe had taken a couple of weeks off. Sorry. And plants that seed in their head already that even if they're better than him, looking better than him, they're not. He would talk about how he would see the same person 20 minutes later just checking themselves out, looking at their biceps and flexing and their chest and their pectoral muscles, looking in the mirror, trying to see, am I soft? Am I, is something wrong? So I always found that very interesting. McGregor uses this tactic better than almost anybody. And his training camps and his fight preps are centered all around this. So what does McGregor do? For example, he'll tell a fighter, you know, you're too slow, you're not aggressive, he's not finishing anybody, to get them to be more aggressive when they fight him. So he can, basically what McGregor does is get fighters to not fight like themselves. Eddie Alvarez says so, you know, Jose Aldo said so, you know, people that he's beat say just that. He makes them fight different. They get angry, they get upset, they get overconfident. Whatever the reason, he implants it in them that there is a reason why they should fight different against him. They shouldn't. If they're the best, they shouldn't. They should go with their fight plans and they would probably beat them. Don't believe me? Look at Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is one of the few fighters that you could tell him whatever you want. Talk to him however you want. You can piss him off. You can treat him nice. You can do what, whichever range of emotions you want him to feel. It doesn't matter. Once he gets into the octagon, once he's in fight mode, he's doing two things. He's fighting his style and he's listening to his corner. He does not deviate. He fights how he fights every time and he listens to his corner to adjust. Nothing else. No matter what McGregor does, no matter what any fighter does, if you're going to beat him, you're going to beat him, fighting his style, listening to his corner. Well, McGregor is already executing his plan with Mayweather. Before he was posting a lot of videos, now he's posting video. he's already taunted him, you know, putting up pictures of Floyd Mayweather Sr., talking about how old he is, and all of that. Why? Make Floyd feel like he has something to prove. That he's not old. That he's fast. That he's got more stamina. That he's stronger. That he's better. That there's no way in the ring that McGregor's on his level. He's setting up all the seats to make Floyd Mayweather feel that. You know, and want to prove that. Then what else has he done? Well, he's released clips of him boxing. You know... He's posting on Instagram, I'm a ghost, I'm there, then I'm not. He's going to be working those first three to four rounds just on making Floyd miss and tapping him and tagging him. I'm not saying he will get five punch combinations on, on Floyd Mayweather, but I don't think Floyd Mayweather is expecting to get hit with five punch combinations. and. I don't expect McGregor, I don't think McGregor is expecting to hit Floyd with five punch combinations. That's not going to be his game plan. Not at all. He's not going to try to outbox the boxer. He's just going to try to outfight the boxer and outthink the boxer and out anticipate the boxer. 
So Mayweather's already planting these seeds. Then a boxer comes out of nowhere once the fight is announced that got to spar and train with, with McGregor. And he puts out a video showing how he tagged McGregor up. And he said, saying, if I can hit him, so can Mayweather. If I can light him up, so can Mayweather. A bit of a betrayal, you know, this McGregor brings you in, trains with you, gives your name more value, and you come out and to defend the sport of boxing, you put out this video and making McGregor look bad, et cetera, et cetera. Do you think that that, that, that was his intention? Do you think that video got out without McGregor's approval? Because if it's like he says that his own friend was recording it, you think that McGregor didn't make him first sign non-disclosure agreements? Come on. Second, you think McGregor would allow somebody to just record and not keep track of what's going on with that recording? Come on. Third, who wins from this recording coming out? A lot of people might think Floyd, but Floyd's not going to think any different. This is just going to validate for, for him what he thinks. This benefits McGregor. Showing McGregor as unprepared benefits McGregor. McGregor already is inside, inside Floyd's head. You don't believe me? This fight, Floyd usually tries to get all the advantages he can get. Make it as hard for his opponents to fight him. Make it difficult and uncomfortable. Make him go down to a weight class that they don't want to go down to. Just because he can. Yet, he took this fight at a higher weight than he normally takes fights. Which accommodates McGregor. Why would he do that? Why would he take a fight that should be at 147... McGregor's fought at 145. Why is he willing to go, I believe, to 153? Why? Because he feels confident. At, I don't need to lose as much weight. I don't need him to, to be starved out. I want him looking good so when I beat him, it looks even better. But what if he beats you, Floyd? He's not beating me. He has no chance. He's already in his head. Make, has him believing that McGregor has no chance. And to tell you the truth, in a boxing, strictly boxing mindset, he has zero chance. But even in the worst mismatches in boxing, a fighter, even in MMA, anywhere, but a fighter, especially in boxing, always has a puncher's chance. So if you have McGregor in there and he can dodge and he can do what he does best, which is counter strike. He hits hard. He hits hard. He's bigger than guys, and he hits hard for his divisions in MMA. I believe in boxing. He might not hit as hard as other boxers, of course, but I think he's going to hit a little harder. He might not hit as hard as Pacquiao, but I think he, he'll be close, and he'll be harder than what Mayweather is expecting. So all he needs is just to get out of the way and counter-strike. He won't be able to do that for 10 rounds. You know, he won't be able to do that for eight rounds. Um, but I think he can do it for three to four rounds. I don't think he would need that much. If he's going to have a chance, it'll be in the first few rounds. I believe that boxing video came out with McGregor's approval as a tactic to make, to make Mayweather feel confident, overconfident. To feel like he's training really hard, but he's just training to get in shape. He's not training as much strategy. He figures I can go out in there with the classic Mayweather strategy and just fight him like as if, if he was Pacquiao. Like, this guy, just zero boxing experience. He's not going to touch me. And that's what McGregor wants. Get Floyd to do every little thing he can different than he normally does. Taking a fight at a bigger weight class, different. You know, having, you know, Owen going up against an O&O fighter that's bigger than him, that's a striker, but taking it from MMA, that's different. Letting this fighter talk so much shit <laughs> about him, 
not really caring. It's different. So, if anything, Floyd might be at his most comfortable in this fight. And that's the best for Mayweather. If Floyd is the type of fighter that I, that he prepares with a tenacity unseen in many athletes. Very few ath- athletes train harder than Floyd, if any. But if you have him feeling a little bit more comfortable in any which way, then that means his training intensity will go down a little bit. And however you want to put it, he is 40 years old. You know, there is, even if he hasn't gotten hit a lot, you know, your times are different. Your timing will change. Your speed, your reflexes will not be the same. Now, does he have a chance to win? Yes, he does. But what type of chance? A great chance. But in those first three rounds, McGregor has a real shot of shocking the world. He has a real opportunity of landing a direct hit to that chin and making Floyd go down. It's never happened before, and Floyd has kept tempting the boxing gods by coming back for another fight and another fight and another fight, and he wants that money. Boxers haven't been able to do it. Why would an MMA fighter be able to do what no boxer has? Maybe because he's an MMA fighter, so he doesn't think or fight or react like a boxer does. So Floyd's strategy is different. Also, Floyd might think, you know, a boxer, a Pacquiao, a Canelo, if they can't hit him at worst, you know, he has to prepare to go the full 12 rounds. And they prepare thinking, you know, he's very elusive. I might not be able to knock him out till the 8th. So they prepare for a full 10 to 12 rounds. Well, McGregor can train really hard for three rounds and say, I'm finishing this within three. And you might think, well, that would be the wrong strategy. Yeah, it's the wrong strategy if you don't believe you can get it done in those three rounds. But McGregor believes he can get it done and get it done quickly, and he's done it before. So believe that he will come out strong for those first three rounds and he will be looking for a quick finish in those first three rounds those are my thoughts that video coming out of him getting tagged up i believe it's part of the mcgregor strategy of just giving your opponent reasons to become confident to become overconfident to become pissed anything to get them emotional to react different in the fight than they would normally because when fighters react different holes open up and McGregor can take advantage it's been the case before it'll be the case again if Floyd falls for it and I'm sorry to say for all of you boxing fans there is we are seeing some cracks we are seeing and I don't mean cracks in the negative or Floyd is worried just the opposite we are seeing Floyd being more comfortable than he normally is not having to justify anything, even giving reasons. Oh, no, in trying to sell the fight. Yeah, McGregor could, you know, he, he can hit me. You know, he can knock me out. And in his mind, he believes it doesn't happen. But him just saying it, come on. Mayweather in selling fights, every other fight, everything he said has been, this guy doesn't stand a chance against me. Against me. He's not going to touch me. He's not going to hit me. He doesn't. He's not going to get me. He's not going to win. There's no way he wins. He has no chance. That's how he sold every fight except this one. This is the first fight that for him to sell it more, he has to bring up his opponent and say that he does have ways to beat him. In doing that, he's doing what McGregor wants and planting those seeds himself in his head. I mean, it's amazing. Psychologically speaking, I think he has a chance. I think McGregor has a chance with what he's doing psychologically. Now, he can get ghosted, he can get beat and knocked out by by Mayweather, but it would be shocking if Mayweather does anything other than go the full 10, 12 rounds, whatever it's going to be. That's how McGregor, uh, that's how Mayweather wins everything. McGregor, I don't see him planning to go to the distance. I see him planning to finish this in the first three rounds. 
Will he do so? I don't know. Will he look horrible in there? After the second round, maybe. Maybe he'll start to look horrible. But I believe that first and second round, he'll be on point. He will look good. And, you know, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth to watch. It's a, you know, it's, it's spectacle. That's all it is. So those are my thoughts on that. Um, let's see what ends up happening. Let's see if any other videos get released or anything else like that. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated. As always, Orlando for the Guy Blog um, and for the Guy Blog Podcast. You can call, you can email me at Orlando at theguyblog.com, Twitter at the Guy Blog, Instagram at the Guy Blog. And uh, take care, guys. Talk to you soon.